Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. A key ruling Democratic Party official has urged the main opposition to select lawmakers to sit on the recommendation committee for the head of a new independent investigative unit probing corruption among high-ranking officials. The official also emphasized the Fair Economy Act aims to promote a healthy market economy and support large companies through innovative growth, contributing to improving the livelihood of the people. Travel agencies have been suffering revenue losses since the COVID-19 pandemic, and Chaiyu Tour, once the third largest agency in Korea, has shut down its headquarters office in Seoul's Chungu district, completely halting its offline business. This move comes after downsizing staff members from 132 last year to 33 in the first half of this year, and finally to sending everyone on leave without pay this month. 600 travel agencies have shut down this year, and larger companies have also been suffering earning shocks every quarter since the coronavirus outbreak. U.S. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden maintains his lead against Donald Trump in a Washington Post-ABC News poll from October 6th to the 9th. Biden led Trump by 12 points, 54 to 42 percent, garnering support from women, minorities, and moderates. Finally, the National Assembly Legislation and Judiciary Committee will start its parliamentary inspection on the Ministry of Justice at 10 a.m. today. The topic is most likely to revolve around the various speculations against Justice Minister Trumier and her son's alleged preferential treatment during his military service in 2017. The main opposition People Power Party had put in a request for some 20 witnesses, which the ruling Democratic Party declined due to the matter being under investigation. And you can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. Once there, you'll get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, a closer look into the ongoing parliamentary audit and what we can expect during the next few weeks.